and grateful to the millions and millions of Californians that exercise their fundamental right to vote and express themselves so overwhelmingly by rejecting the division, by rejecting the cynicism, by rejecting so much of the negativity that's defined our politics in this country over the course of so many years. Let's go now to Joe Siracusa. He's a professor of politics and international relations at Curtin University and joins us from Melbourne in Australia. Professor, thanks so much for your time. Now, why was this vote in California so important? Um, pleasure to be here. Look, it's important because it symbolizes sort of a, uh, a national referendum on both the uh, vaccine mandates, the mask mandates, and Trumpism without Trump. And so uh, uh, Newsom used this as sort of a, a proxy campaign against Donald Trump's people and against all these uh, people who are up against uh, President Biden, which is exactly why Biden and the vice president and Senator Warren came to support him. So he turned it into a national referendum, which was a local recall. Now, California is a big place. It's got 40 million people in a country of 333 million. So what happens there is important. There are more Democrats than Republicans, so there's that. And he was afraid that a people would not come out. And what he proved was, is that by holding up Trump and Trumpism, that is the values of Donald Trump, he could get out the electorate again. So this is very important to uh, Democratic planners and strategists as they look forward to the 2022 uh, House of Rep or, uh, congressional elections, and then again to uh, 2024. So it, it's, it's a very significant victory. And Prof, some Democrats have actually accused Republicans of trying to stage a power grab in California because they, uh, the Republicans wouldn't be able, to, able rather, to take control in a regular vote, especially with Californians mostly being made up of those who support the Democrats. Do you think this was the case? Well, they would. Uh, the best that they could do was argue that the election was stolen. It's interesting to note that. Uh, that the governor had literally won the election when the votes were counted from the, the male votes were, were counted, that is the early voting. And so he didn't have to worry about people coming to the polls. He'll probably get uh, two out of every three votes, so there's that. And um, yeah, there'd be people who would try to steal things in California, but California is overwhelmingly democratic. It's got more Hispanics than anybody else. It's got Asians. Blacks only make up 6% of the population. So, you know, it's, it's a bellwether. And the most important thing about this recall is that Governor Newsom has positioned himself to run for president in 2024. His term is up in 2023 as governor. He's positioned himself, the former uh, uh, mayor of San Francisco, governor of California, very popular now, and his only opponent uh, in, that, uh, prime, in that presidential election would be Kamala Harris who is the former senator from, from California. So he's positioned himself. And, you know, he, he looks like a president. His wife looks like a presidential uh, wife. His kids look right. He looks right. I mean, he, he, he reckons that when America returns to normal, he's the kind of guy that they want. Never a dull moment in American politics. Professor Syracuse, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.